My name is Jerry Reisner. I'm the executive chef at uh, Jirasi Vineyard. Today I'm preparing our um, fall dish, which is our roasted duck ravioli. And um, I'm going to walk you through the process of making it. What we've done here is we seared these ducks off really hard, a cast iron pan. We throw cipollini onions, garlic, orange peel, um, whole peppercorns, cloves, and uh, bay leaves together. Then we look, let them cook in the oven for about four hours. Once we pull the duck off the meat, we mix it with a little marscapone cheese, a little Italian parsley, salt and pepper. And that's all it really needs because we've already done the seasoning and the braising. This is our uh, pasta dough. What we've done here, this is about 12 egg yolks, two whole eggs, one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and a little salt and a little white pepper. We do is we mix it all together in a KitchenAid mixer with a paddle attachment. We let it, we wrap it in plastic wrap and let it sit for about half hour, 45 minutes. It lets the flour hydrate and it makes a lot better ravioli. I like to lightly coat the pasta dough before it goes in just so it doesn't stick. KitchenAid mixer is set at the widest attachment to start. You just want to push your dough and make it easier to go through. You start it at the largest. And you want to feed it through. A good test on your ravioli dough to make sure that it's um, the proper thickness is if you can see your hand through it or if you have a wood table or a table countertop and you can actually see the countertop through your dough, you know you're getting pretty close to the thickness. As you can see, we can see this white cutting board and the stainless steel table, how it gets a darker shade. So we know we're getting there. What I like to start with is... I egg wash it before I start to cut it just because if I cut it and then egg wash it, I'm going to get egg wash all over this table. I egg wash the top half. I leave myself just a, a little bit on this end not egg washed. Alrighty. Now all I'm going to do is cut little rectangles. This is our piping bag filled with our duck, marscapone cheese, Thai and parsley, salt and pepper. And you're just going to pipe a little smidge. Use your finger. Okay. You want it a little bit away from the edge. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to take this corner, you're going to roll, just like a half football. If you've ever made a paper footballs or tortellini, it's a lot like that. You roll it. At this point I like to roll it one more time. Then I'm going to fold this part over right to there so you have that. I take this and this is the part where you work with your fingers a little bit. And you're almost making just a little duck beak. What we have here is some dried fruits. We have golden raisins, dried cherries, and a, a little bit of raisins. Fresh thyme, uh, pistachio butter. This is all this is, is it toasted pistachios with salt and oil. Um, equal parts by weight of pistachios to butter. And then I run it through a food processor. That's all it is. All right, saute pan. Just lightly coat it with a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot. And we're going to heat up some of our pistachio butter. Also what we have here is our butternut squash puree. All it is is roasted butternut squash. You take out the pulp, put it in a pan. We put a little bit 2% milk, salt, pepper, about a tablespoon of sugar per one butternut squash. Um, bring it to a boil on a stove and just blend it. We're going to take our duck raviolis. All we have here is a little bit of boiling water with a little bit of salt. You want enough salt so it tastes good, but it's not overpowering. We just drop our duck raviolis in there. 
With fresh pasta, they'll cook really quick. It'll take two, three minutes, if that, to cook. With any type of dried fruit that you didn't rehydrate, you have to be very careful not to burn it. It has a lot of sugar. You just really want this pan just to get it warm. At this point, I just like to turn it off. I know it's hot enough. Also, when I'm taking a pasta that is wet, I'd like to dry it a little before I put it into the pan. Just because what's going to happen is it's going to splatter a little bit just because of the water oil. We have our duck raviolis. A little fresh thyme right now. Just give it a little flavor. Then I like to throw my raisins in. And all you're really doing with the raisins is just warming them up a little bit and they'll hydrate themselves. All I want is the raisins and the dried cherries to brighten up in color and warm up just a little. For plate up, we pride ourselves at Gervasi on trying to plate every dish beautifully. Um, we'll take our puree. Start it at one plus side. Let's take your spoon, swoosh it. Then our pistachio butter, I like to just inlay it in between. It gives the raviolis a nice little bed to sit on. Right. And of course at home you don't have to, I don't think you'll plate it up like this, but you can. Then the uh, little bit of golden raisins, the cherries. All right, and that is our duck ravioli. This will be on our um, fall menu. All right, thank you.